Alright guys, today we are here for the upgrade of the 15 inch MacBook Pros late 2012. So this is the base model, the i7 quad core processor 2.3 GHz with the NVIDIA GeForce GD650 amp with half gigs of RAM. So we are going to upgrade the RAM now it's 4 gigs I'm gonna stick inside 2 modules by 8 gigs each of this RAM the Corsair Vengeance 1600 MHz and we're going up to 16 gigs of RAM then the base model here has 500 gigabytes uh, mechanical hard drive. We are gonna stick in the Corsair Neutron GTX 240 gigs SSD. This one. Okay. And we are gonna stick in a second hard drive in Hitachi. 750 gigs, 7200 RPMs using this great stuff I bought from the UK for almost 16 euros and this is the super drive uh, case for a second hard drive so this is the main reason I bought uh, a normal MacBook Pros instead of the of a Retina ones because I don't need that amazing screen quality I'm just fine with the 1440 by 900 that the standard MacBook Pros is delivering but it's really important for for me the, the storage and I need an SSD and to upgrade to a mechanical hard drive and in the MacBook Pro Retina you can't do that there is no space, not enough space to upgrade to two uh, hard drives and you cannot upgrade the RAM so you have to spend a lot of money for the standard one with 16 gigs of RAM if it's possible I'm not sure that you can go up to 16 instead of the standard 8 gigs well actually you're not gonna need 16 gigs of RAM very often but when you need it it's better that you have it so we'll see now I'm just removing the 10 screws that holds back the the back panel so they are all the same just this three one are longer to hold the chassis in place so it's possible that we are done so it's not that easy right now in the 13 inch I remember it was easier because you just need to, to pull it up so then it's done even here so let's just take the last screws in here so let's focus well this is actually the 15 inch MacBook Pros on the inside so the first thing you have to do is to unplug the battery so you don't risk to make danger or trouble now I'm gonna touch something made of steel iron on my desk that touches the ground to ensure I have no uh, there's no trouble that I can destroy my motherboard with static electricity so remove 
the battery connector, then we can go for the hard drive. So after this installation of the SSD, I'm going to freshly install um, Mountain Lion 10.8 and so before doing this you need to create your USB uh, your USB system installer so before we have to remove these two this uh, holder for the hard drive with this no more standard screws then you can pull up the hard drive gently and remove the connector the SATA connector so here we have the standard hard drive is a Toshiba 500 gigs 5400 RPM so it's really not fast at all we are gonna need this um, screw to hold all these four screws to hold in place the SSD so we are gonna need a little Torx screw driver and we just need to remove so now we have the four holder in place just connect the SSD to the SATA 3 connector stick the two screw the two holder in place and then stick everything in place and finally the holder right here. I hope I don't need to remove this holder later when I need to install the second hub drive and to remove the super drive. So be careful when you screw in and unscrew all the screws. Be gentle don't destroy anything but let's move on the SSD is in place now we have the RAM so just pull aside this two holder and the first module will come out here let's put it this way so let's hold again for the second module And let's go for it. Let in, let's install the Corsair Vengeance 1. And 2. So now we have an SSD and 16 gigs of RAM on our MacBook Pros. And the final thing I want to do is to install the second hard drive. So now we have to remove the super drive and we need and we need the standard screwdriver and the Torx screwdriver. So let's start maybe with a plastic tool or if you have nails remove the connector of the super drive. Remove this second connector right here. So lift up this cable and just pull it out. Just pull out, don't pull up. Then remove the two screws, just one here and one here to detach the structure here. So take out all the screws just to avoid the possibility to lose them. So now we have down here 
there is a torque screw down here there is another one and down here there is the third one so let's see if we can manage to remove the screws the first one seems fine let's go for this one that is the hardest one done the last one here I hope it's the last one but this is the first time for me and let's see so lift it up and pull it out well it was easier than I thought so from the normal super drive we need the connector right here it's just easy to remove it just take it apart and even this holder to hold in place the new adapter one and two I think it's going to be like that. So this is going to be here. So let's take it in his place here. Let's put everything back in place let's put everything back where it belongs so let's start from this one here just to hold one Here, the main screw to hold down. So basically, we are gonna miss two screws. We just have the top one, and the plate. The thing is locked because there is this plate here, this screw here, but it just moves around like this. We have to do something to solve. The problem to put here some kind of adhesive like maybe this one so he's not moving and actually this adhesive was on the old um, hard drive so the temperature is fine he can reach that kind of temperature and he's not moving so everything is done it seems let's hope for the best <laughs>